When it comes to looking at Australian real estate, buyers from China love glamour, style and history. For those with very deep pockets, there's this, a heritage-listed masterpiece here in the Potts Point district of Sydney. It was built in the 1860s and out the back it commands spectacular views of one of the world's most beautiful harbours. It's on the market for $20 million or more. Showing us around today is real estate agent Monica Tu. I think uh, the Chinese buyers, uh, you know, they love a piece of history. So they come to this country, and, you know, besides of beautiful harbors and beautiful views, but they, they want to have something that has significant value. Okay, so this house represents everything they want. This is everybody's dream house. One thing that's really important is the distance. It's only about nine hours flight. So it's only about two hours um, uh, time difference. Now it's, it's very attractive and the school system is really good. And I think, again, you know, the Australian people are very welcoming. You, you have seen the house and it's beautiful, it's spacious, it's, um, you know, but one of the major factors people will fall in love with this uh, property and pay this kind of money, of course, is the view. So view is one major factor people will pay the top dollar for in, in Sydney. Look at that. And this is what it's all about. Beautiful, beautiful Sydney Harbour. Who wouldn't want to live in Australia's biggest city? Now, real estate agents tell us that investment from China is having a dramatic effect on house prices, not only here, but in the southern city of Melbourne. They say that in certain areas, more than 80% of sales are going to buyers from China. They see prosperous and multicultural Australia as a safe and stable place to invest. But not everyone is welcoming. Houses like these rose by about 15% in value last year, like many others in Sydney. During the same period, buyers from China spent almost $9 billion on Australian real estate. And there's a feeling in certain quarters that that foreign money is making housing increasingly unaffordable for the locals. I'm on my way to see Sydney's celebrity real estate agent, John McGrath. He believes that the Chinese are being unfairly blamed for inflating prices. There is a genuine concern for people, first home buyers and parents of first home buyers about will their kids be able to get a piece of Australian real estate in their generation or in their lifetime. And it just seems the overseas investment coming into Australia seems to be the current scapegoat. Reality is if you have a steady job, reasonable income in Sydney, you can find to get yourself set somewhere in Sydney. It's forecast that the Chinese will pump up to $45 billion into Australian real estate in the next five years. But Nigel Stapleton, who's from the University of New South Wales Business School, believes there are other factors that are also pushing up house prices, including a chronic lack of supply, record low interest rates and soaring demand from local investors. We're looking at a sort of what I would regard as a short-term influence. I see the Chinese buyers as a short-term phenomena. Uh, the real, the crux of the problem really is sort of a, a whole multiple of factors which have led to housing being more expensive and which has tended to price out uh, first-home buyers who are now buying much later than they did in a, a generation ago. Oh, everyone wants to come to Australia. It doesn't matter if they're Chinese or they're Indian or they're English or American. Right? Australia is just a natural, beautiful country. Uh, there will be more and more Chinese come to this country. 